No one can take your attitude from you or how you choose to respond to life. I should write a book. I'm just kidding. Maybe I should. Oh man, okay, we got um, cue card, please. Here we go. 5K PR, one mile PR, tips to put on muscle as a runner. Maintaining muscle or running 10 miles a day, the perfect marathon, sub three on a treadmill, plus uh, cheat day. Never done one of those. Biggest running mistakes I made when I started and speed day. Today is a speed day, those are just ideas. It's pretty late and I wasn't gonna make a video today because it's Tuesday and usually I procrastinate and I make the videos on Wednesday. Um, the day before. So today is a speed day. I did uh, swim earlier. We just swam 10 miles. This is Coach Keaton right here. How'd I do today? You did great. Ocean swims. Right now, it's all about speed. You guys want to get faster. You want to be fucking lightning fast. You got to do speed. <laughs> um, I've just been driving around everywhere, dude. I think I need to get an electric car at this point because I'm probably going to go bankrupt with all the gas that I burn through Mirror Energy. I got some water. Normally, I'd do Gatorade, but I'm not sure if it's going to be that big of a speed session. I could be making a gigantic mistake because based on the swim this morning, it was pretty, pretty, it was pretty gnarly. So um, we'll see. Headed down to UCSD College. Apparently, there's some pretty gnarly athletes in the mix. Some seasoned runners, uh, some triathletes. Excited to be involved. Be around people that train hard. Hopefully get my ass kicked. Real quick, before we get there, I'm just gonna explain, uh, for those of you guys that are new to the channel or wondering how to get faster, I follow, which is maybe an overused term, but I follow a rule which is called 80-20. In short, 80% of your work should be at an easy pace, aerobic zone, and 20% should be at a much harder pace, i.e. speed sessions, so maybe hill strides or intervals on a track. And that's like the basic term. A little late, because I couldn't find it. If you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. If you're late, you're left behind. They're starting without you. Oh yeah, that was perfect timing. Got here just in time. They took a picture and now we're gone. <laughs> no, no. Speed work, why is it important? What does it do? How much speed work should you be doing? Well, one session a week is all you need. The rest of your work, as I said, should be done in a low to mid aerobic zone. If you don't know what that is, 180 minus your age, that's the zone plus or minus five beats per minute heart rate. Workout was a 5K warm up at an easy pace. I think it was like an eight minute pace is what we did, 3.1 miles. And then we got to the track and we did 12 by 200, meaning we did a 200 meter at a 1K or one mile pace, which for the group was about anywhere from a four minute to a 415 per minute mile pace. Sometimes we were running at a 350 pace. Absolutely nuts. And then it was a 400 meter, one lap around the track recovery. We did that 12 times. In total, the workout was nearly eight miles and it was a killer. People walking around talking down on others. Don't judge a book by the cover. People. Mm. It was all right. I should have got like just blue vanilla. Caramel vanilla, eh, still good though. Um, uh, you might be watching this right now. You might be thinking to yourself, I want to get in better run shape. Maybe I want to be a triathlete. Maybe you're just watching to try to get some diet tips. Maybe you just stumbled upon this video and you didn't even mean to and you're about to exit out right now. Before you do, I just want to say the power in a morning routine, man, I'll tell you. And the power of manifesting is real. You guys have heard me talk about that before. Totally believe in positive affirmations, writing down goals, and manifesting things. It for a fact works. Normally I don't do this, like read out of my journal, but um, I was doing my journal and I just do, my journal's pretty simple. I do uh, a truth, so I write one thing that's just a complete true statement. It could be like, I have anxiety right now. Um, and then I do, I don't, but uh, sometimes I do. And then I do a gratitude, so something I'm grateful for, and it doesn't have to be like, you can write the same thing. I always say like, I'm grateful that there's sunlight you know, flooding into my home. I get to make YouTube videos. I'm grateful for all the new friends I met. And then thoughts. Thoughts is kind of like the journaling aspect that people think of where you just sit down and you write and it's like whatever comes to mind, uh, stream of consciousness, free flowing. I'm gonna read you guys something I wrote because I really like it. Maybe you're watching this and you need to hear this and if you don't, you can skip through it. It's gonna take like 
20 seconds. Here we go. Life goes in ebbs and flows, ups and downs. At times, those flows are the material highs of life, making the lows low. Get to a point where your highs are coming from within. Smile with a sense of gratitude, knowing you are here on earth right now. You can change anything if need be. My highs of life come from human connection, love for my family, my morning routine, and challenging myself in all facets, whether it's fitness, work, personal development. My through line though is gratitude. When gratitude becomes the definition of your high, then only you can pull yourself into the low. No one can take your attitude from you or how you choose to respond to life. I should write a book. I'm just kidding. Maybe I should. Maybe I will. Who knows, dude? Sugar, salt. Red, white, and blue or black? Yeah, I was thinking that too. Oh yeah. Am I excited to swim? You didn't ask, but yeah, I'm excited to swim. I'm excited to get coached in swimming because the last time I got coached in swimming was in high school when I played water polo and swim. Did you guys know that? That's another video idea. From football to water polo and swim to football to nothing to triathlete. I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing, so we'll wait and see. Okay. What do I do with this? <laughs> this is Dude, recording. I'm, I'm running in that. <laughs> you guys, I swim. But don't make fun of me. He's about to fall out of these things. <laughs> what are we doing? Okay, we're gonna warm up. Like, this is 200. Oh, man. Here we go. Because I suck at everything else? No, because you only have to do sound weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Really train three sound. Dive. Races on your mark. This is for the the Olympic gold. Set. Go. Damn, no splash. Yep. Okay, take your mark. Go. Um, Coach Kiki was, you were super helpful. I learned a lot of new things. I thought I was good at swimming and it turns out I suck. No, you're not that. Um, and then highlight of the day for me was, I had the fins on, not these ones, 
but I had my fins on and we were doing all out. Then when I had the fins on, she was still beating me. Backstroke, gliding with no fin. And in my head I go, you're fast. Four, yes. Minutes. If I can swim 20, the goal is 24 minute. And get on that bike going fast. It's like 2,250 yards in 24 minutes is the goal. But I just want to be able to swim it easy, so maybe 26 minutes. You, you did really well, actually. Kind really? Of, yeah. As a, if you and didn't know me, was like amazing. if you didn't know me and you were coaching me, would you be like, "This kid's good at swimming," or you'd be like, "He has"? No, like, I'd be what? like, "You have like a really good base, and we can just like do a little few technical things." Really? Make it a lot easier. Yeah. Hell yeah! All right, when's the next practice? Tomorrow. Fuck yeah, dude. What did I say last video? I said it's better to be consistently good than it is to be occasionally great. I would say that quote is most applicable to diet. I'm sure you guys have heard it. If you have any type of fitness goal that has to do with weight loss, diet is gonna be the biggest part. You have to be consistently good. This is pearl couscous with a piece of salmon. This is so good that I had it last night. But bro, come on, dude. That's. How many else is a salmon? I don't know. That's that.